Friday Night Frenzy on News 18. Sports from where you live. Thank you so much for sticking around after that timeout, and I am happy you joined us back here for another exciting round of highlights. To start this half off, we're going to take a look at how our game of the week went with West Lafayette traveling to Crawfordsville for the Red Devils fourth game of the season. Sports 18's Kelly Hallinan shares with us what all went down at our game of the week. Kelly, take it away. Friday Night Frenzy is back and tonight's game of the week features a matchup between West Lafayette and Crawfordsville. The Red Devils jumped out to an early lead and stayed on top the rest of the way. Let's check out some highlights. Crawfordsville takes the floor and the fans are sleeping on the competition, literally. But don't sleep on this guy. Red Devils swing the ball around to Donovan Loudermill who drains a corner three. Loudermill finished with 17 points. And from the same spot, Jack Montez has a triple, nothing but net. Montez has 16 points. But Crawfordsville gets a stop. Ethan McLemore with the steal, fast break, and the bucket. He finished with 18 points. And he shows he can shoot from range two, time winding down, and McLemore gets the shot off at the buzzer, holding up the three for everyone to see. Drake Burris adds three more here for Crawfordsville. He finished the night with 10. But the Red Devils held on to their lead. Their largest of the night was 34 points. Final score 74 to 46. West Lafayette improves to three and one overall. It was great to actually get out to a lead and not have to you know battle around. And we talked about playing for 32 minutes today, and uh, we actually did that. You know, and so it's a good thing. It shows a, us growth that we're growing, uh, and it's a, a positive. We also came out good offensively. We were moving the ball and getting good plays on offense and stuff. Everyone put in good minutes, and it helped with the confidence because everyone shot the ball with confidence and like. Everyone just played their game. No one was afraid to mess up or anything. Everyone had fun. The Red Devils picked up an impressive 28-point win on the road. Reporting from Crawfordsville, Kelly Hallinan, Sports 18. Thank you so much, Kelly, and great job as always. And what a way to start our frenzy than with a big win from one of our local area teams. And all of these games have been so much fun to watch here, but don't worry, we got two more for you on our lineup. Sports 18's Maddie D'Addario is back in the studio with us, and I'm just happy that you're here. What, Maddie, welcome to basketball in Indiana. Here, it's just different, so I hope that tonight's games for you showed you just that. Yeah, Brie, I've been hearing about Indiana basketball and all of the hype that surrounds it since I first got here. So I'm glad I finally got the chance to see what it's actually all about. First, we're going to head over to Clinton County where Delphi took on Clinton Prairie. The 3-0 Oracles look to keep their perfect record against the one-loss Gophers. Starting on Prairie side of the ball, Jake McGraw rebounds the ball and Jackson Carefoot drives into the paint, lobbing up past the lane Horlatcher who gets the job done for the Gophers. Prairie drew first blood, but it took no time for Delphi to respond. Brock Burton hauls a pass out to Chase Allmanger, who's dangerous behind the three-point line, and proves why right here. But the Gophers have a three-point weapon of their own in Kyle Harsberger. He sent this exact shot into the net more than once tonight and made it look easy. Back on Delphi's side of the court, Allmanger with the ball again, sending a fadeaway into the net. And these two teams duped it out the entire game, taking it to double overtime. Prairie takes the OT win 64 to 55. Now we head 15 minutes down the road where Frankfurt looks to get their first win of the season against Tri-West. Tri-West starting with the ball, Grant Oldham finds Griffin Cole in the paint, putting a layup to start the quarter. Now let's see what Frankfurt can do. Quincy Perry sends a pass to Alex Farley who drives towards the net, hits a spin move and a jump shot, getting the ball into the net. Tri-West had a hard time putting up any points for multiple minutes. Then Isaiah Yarber comes in with this. Yarber intercepts a Frankfurt pass and gets a breakaway down the court where he takes this one to the house on his own. But Frankfurt dominated the majority of this game. The Hot Dogs had some great outside shooters like Doug Wood right here who gets nothing but net, sinking the three. Frankfurt gets their first dub of the season, 66 to 43. Thank you so much, Maddie. As always, you're a rock star, and I really hope you enjoyed your first taste of Indiana basketball. And with that, we are officially done with the highlight portion of our show tonight. It goes a little bit quicker than football, at least in my opinion. But don't worry, because we still got plenty left on our show. Coming up, we'll take a peek at scores from around our area and hear from former head coach Jeff Brom on why he chose to leave Purdue. That's next after this quick break.